Hello, this is Carter Feldman, and today I'm going to be showing you my C compiler. That is the C compiler that I wrote in JavaScript over the summer. So over here on the left, we've got the C compiler running in the web browser, and I'm just going to go to the settings dialog and create a new project called Maker. Oops, Maker. And as you can see there, we now have a Maker project. Now if I just click compile here, it will produce an exe that says hello world, and hopefully one, two, three. And as you can see, it just did that. Now let's try something a little bit more difficult just to show you what the C compiler is capable of. And you know, it's not just a hello world C compiler, it can compile actual programs. So over here we have Pascal's triangle and Fibonacci series, so just to show you that, and Fibonacci series. But these have been pretty simple demos. Let's switch to something a little bit more complex. Now over here I've got a web page generator that I wrote in C. And we're going to try and compile this, and I'm just going to show you that this should work with no problems. Although we do have to add in some new imports from the C runtime library on Windows. Oh, whoops. I've got them at the top here. I'm just going to paste them in. So these tell um, the C compiler which functions to grab from the DLL, um, or which functions we need at least at runtime. So let's click Compile, Keep, and this should run our little html page creator all right if we edit the title we can say title or whatever we want and if we edit the text we can put in blah 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 br slash blah 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 and then if we say save and we quit there should be an index.html in our downloads directory and in fact there is when we click on it oh look it's what we put and it's a new line and everything worked out nice Thank you so much for watching this video, and um, if you have any further questions, please refer to the technical documentation or any of the pictures or descriptions that I have on Slideroom. Uh, but yeah, have a great day. Hope to see you on campus someday.